G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome to the start, day one of 7 Days to Die Inferno. I'm actually so stoked to finally be doing this. I've been planning Inferno since like halfway through Alpha 18, and now finally, it is a reality. So the way that this works is very simple. The sun will kill you. At the moment, it's cloudy and overcast and a bit stormy, so I'm okay. But at about midday today, the clouds will part, the sun will come out, and it will set me on fire. So the aim of the game is to stay inside, stay under shelter, stay out of the sun's gaze, or else you're burned to death. Kind of like living in Australia in the late 90s when we had no ozone layer. I should probably start cracking on, given I've only got a few hours to find some shelter before the whole world gets very, very warm. Uh, I do want to say as well, a massive thank you to Kane for making this mod. I can't code things to save my life, but he sure as shit can. So massive props to him for putting up with my DMs and making this mod a reality. I need my bedroll, get you cracking on and get you in my hotbar nice and quickly. Thank you. Always going to go with the purple uh, bedroll roll to start your day for good luck okay all right next thing i need to find somewhere to go i guess we follow the road and find a town somewhere i'm already starting to feel a bit anxious about this there is one other thing that i need to mention about this series and that is that it does have that new like burning buildings mod that came out not so long ago that's kind of the tipping point as to why this series is happening now so with that if you set a building on fire with like a molotov or flaming arrows or whatever the fire will spread and the building will burn down and if you're curious what that looks like it looks like this So again, yeah, fair to say, I need to be very careful that what I do with any sort of flame weapons, the whole world is a giant tinder box, including me. No one's never good at tinder. I haven't really considered what my plan is with this, other than not being able to go outside. I'm not sure, like, how am I going to go raiding, how I'm going to move about the world, unless I just wait till nighttime and try and take advantage of the darker hours to try and move about. That might be my only option, but how do I go about building a horde base? How do I go about fighting anything? I don't know. There's a lot of very serious questions I need to ask, and I have none of the answers that go with them. Craft up my bow and arrow, got my club in case something bad happens. You can go away, you can go away, can make a new one of those later. That does need to be in my hotbar, that one does. All right, off on a big brand new adventure. Um, as always though, the zombies are set to jog in the day on warrior difficulty, and if we survive two weeks somehow, I'll escalate that a little bit each time. Was there anything else I needed to mention? Oh yeah, uh, 150% XP and a 49 day series. All the normal stuff. The only thing that's not normal is now the world is definitely trying to kill me. Potentially even just like building myself little catwalks out of frames and stuff. Just like a little awning over the top to keep myself in the shade. Might be a pretty good way to go about it, but... I mean, look, there's no buildings around here, though. So even if I could do that, how long do I have to build that awning to get to somewhere I'm going to be safe? I don't know. I don't know. It's all very... Ooh, I see a building over there. It's all very, very dicey. Bit of a, bit of a question mark for me, this one. We'll see how we go. I'm gonna chuck my points just straight into strength, because I need to be able to defend myself against any of the zombies, first and foremost. What I'm actually going to, like, use through the series, like weapons and stuff, I don't know. We'll see where it all takes us. But for now, I just need my club to be as good as it can be. And in fact, I'll make a fresh one. Because in our level two, scrap that. Chuck it down to there. Okay. The train is only a kilometer away. It's going away from the buildings that I just saw. Oh, we can see the silhouettes. Okay, there's a town that way. Oh, those are wasteland trees. Those are waste. Am I right next to the wasteland? I forgot to mention that at the top, actually. This whole world is nothing but desert and wasteland. Because let's be honest, if the world was that sizzly hot, there would be no, like, actual pine forests anymore. And the world is also littered with Bernie boys. Just for, like, you know, to make it thematically make sense. I think that's everything that I had to mention about how this world is set up. But yeah, just wasteland and desert, which means... I might be able to make a cheeky run to the wasteland right here and maybe get a, like, some sort of weapon out of a car. I've only got five hours before the sun comes out, so I can't dilly and or dally. Gotta do this quick. Come on, easy. Easy, <gasps> easy cars. Easy cars are easy loot. Yes. Loot stage is only 11 in the desert. Just want to make sure that I get that high loot stage before I pop open the car. Oh, there's vultures and everything already everywhere. Still 11? Can you be a little bit better, please? Oh, was it already 11? Oh, no, there we go. 32. 32. You can reach. You can reach. Double check it again. 
Nice. Come on, please. Give me, like, give me an AK. Give me an M60. I'm not asking for much. It's here. Five iron sledgy. I did just chuck a point into Pummel Pete, not in the sledgehammers. Watch out for landmines, please. This is always permadeath. Um, I can put a point into sledges and roll with that. I just don't particularly like sledgehammers because they're really slow. Kind of an all or nothing kind of approach. This is dumb. This is dumb, Josh. Why are you doing this? Why are you going into the wasteland in the first four seconds of a series? That's a great way to be blown to smithereens in no time. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, a pipe shotgun. Pipe shotguns are utterly worth... Oh, jeez. Utterly worthless, though. Pipe machine gun or nothing. It's the only good pipe weapon. Just check a couple of cars and then we'll leave. There's a road just to my right. See a six stone shovel. Don't mind a cheeky marble shove. Any other cars around here? I didn't think so. Mm, nah. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're going to the road and we're getting out of dodge. Just look out for landmines, please. Oh, shit. Um... Oh, I'm going to go back this way. I'm not taking on a zombie dog. I'm not taking on a zombie dog this bloody early. Give me that one. I do have to whip it out and go all or nothing. Go all in on a power stroke out of the sledgehammer. It might save me on a really bad time. Shit, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Just going to work my way around like this. I regret it. I regret the wasteland. I regret the wasteland so much. All right, here we go. Back out of the wasteland again, leaving all the zombies and all my worries behind me. Huh, at least I know where it is now, though. So the trader I wanted to send me to is out there somewhere. I'm just going to scrap you for mechanical parts straight off the bat. Don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, you can get scrapped. You can go to there. Uh, pipe shoddy just in case. Got no ammo for it, though. But yeah, I know where the wasteland is. I assume there's a city wherever that trader is, so I can keep that in mind for later, too. But it's now 8 a.m. Got to go find somewhere to bunker down. There's a dingo running away. Can you just leave me alone for a tick, please? Get the old... Oh, yeah, our stripper teacher is coming over. I hope that wasn't your pet dingo, but if it was, well, I'm, I'm more than happy to reunite you guys in the next life. Bonk and bonk. Oh, look at that. Having a cheeky cuddle. Well, the first time we had a bonk and a cuddle is it, love. We'll get rid of you, too. We need to finish harvesting up that dingo, both for the meat and for the bones. Come on, stamina. Come on, stamina. Stay with me, please. There you go. I just, I hate the early game so much when you take four steps of the trundle with your club and you completely knack it. So it's an old western town here, not like a proper town, which like for the theme of the series makes a lot of sense, you know? It's all hot and real dry. So of course it's an old western town, but for like me, for getting loot and things and moving between buildings, that uh, is considerably less handy than a regular town would be, but got to deal with what you can. The sun's getting higher in the sky and it's going to be out pretty soon. Please go away, Loz. I don't have the time for this. Go away. Go away. There we go. Okay, I need to get inside. I need to get inside and get some weapons. Rifle martyrs? <laughs> Rifle martyrs even? Yeah, okay. That'll work for me. The Where's the light? Where's the light to let me inside? Around the back. No, that's the wrong light. How do I... Ah, ah, okay. I was gonna say, how do I get inside? Get inside here. Let's do this nice and quickly. I've still got a little bit of time on my sleeve, so no need to rush too badly just yet. No one hanging out in that cupboard. We're all graving. Take that back, because I'm pretty shy on arrows. And nothing else? There's nothing else in here, and it's no longer Undead Legacy, so I can't pick up the candles and take it with me. <laughs> there's still there's already vultures circled around me like a very dehydrated tiger cub or lion cub even out in the desert nope yep there we go close that hang on good okay i feel like warrior difficulty is the right difficulty to start on zombies are pretty tanky when you're like this weak but it's still reasonably doable just gotta time your strokes correctly not get too ambitious too early some zombies have figured out where I am. It's 10.30. I remember this floor being one of those, like, the floors that can cave in underneath you. So I'm trying to stay away from that until I'm good and ready. Ammo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, see, I told you so. Ammo pile in the corner for some shotgun rounds. Look, it's not much. Like, reloading the pipe shotgun takes about 18 years to do. So bloody long to reload the body. That's why I hate it so much. But if I get into a pinch, I guess it's better than nothing. Do I just, like, go down and get bold with it then? Well, maybe I can, like, open up the rest of the floor like this and see if I can have a little peaky squeeze down. Mm, nah, okay. Well, let's just get bold with it then. Shotguns out for the boys. Let's see who's waiting for me. Oh, it's dark as dicks down here too. Is it just you? I think it might be. Oh, no, there's more in the corner. Okay, come on upstairs. Although, wait. 
Oh, there we go. I was going to say, if I go back upstairs... Shit, now I've just opened all the doors. All right, maybe that wasn't particularly clever. Now the mop's out so I can get inside. Oh, I can also get inside their heads too. Rent free. I'm pretty sure everyone down here is now good and dead, so I'm relatively safe. Oh, shit, it's quarter past 11, though, so I'm definitely not safe. All right, here we go. Let's get all the loot that I can. I can't open you because I have no lockpicks right now. I'm not going to sit here and waste all my not dead time, or not dead time, not sizzly time, beating the gun safe to death. Gun store box for rifle parts. Not especially great, but okay. Some ammo. Come on, please. Please, please, please. A Molotov. All right, I have to be very careful with you because this whole place is made of very, very flammable timbers. There is also one other thing I want to show you guys as well, but it's going to have to wait a little bit until I'm a little bit more sorted out. I've got 20 minutes to get to another building. Uh, let's just keep going this way, I suppose. This is head north. What's going to be the best place for me to go? Look at this. Trying to, like, get across a gap like this when I can't step foot outside? That's going to be a nightmare. Let's try and spend the last 15 minutes finding a cluster of buildings. Oh, like that one. We can make it. We can make it. We can make it. I want to get inside there, so at least I have somewhere to go. Here we go. Don't think. Just straight up and inside, please. All the way up into the door. Are you waiting for me? Yeah, you are. Look, I've got a couple minutes to get inside, so just don't mind me. Close the door behind. Okay. We have some sanctuary for the next little bit. It's now 12 o'clock. There's no more going outside for me. Look how bright it is outside now. The storm has cleared. It's now nothing but sunshine out there. I want to give it I want to give it a test run just to show you guys what happens if I do set foot outside, but I also don't want to die. Oh, okay. We'll go for a second. We'll go for a second. Huh? Oh, no, I'm still under the cover. We're fine. We're fine. Yep, yep. There we go. Okay. <laughs> You go into the sunshine, you get set on fire. Wouldn't really recommend it, but I had to do it for science. Right, well now we know it's definitely a thing. No getting around it now. Which actually, all right, a problem I didn't really consider. Yeah, I'd be gobsmacked as well about it. I'd be really bloody surprised. Look at you, about the same facial expression. Uh, if I get into trouble in a building, I can't just bail out the front door and fight him in the street where I have room to maneuver. Getting like trapped in seven days is how you die in seven days. And I can't run away anymore. I'm, uh, I didn't consider that. I was so panicked about the time ticking down. I didn't even realize I got a barbed wire mod for the club. So there you go. You're looking especially spiky. We used to call that the stinger. They don't let you do that no more. Uh, what else have I got in here? Not really much, but I do want to show you one thing. Quickly craft up a cheeky bit of storage while I've got the materials. Grab you and just chuck it down anywhere. That will do. And I want to put my wood, my stone, and my feathers into you. Where, wait, wait, feathers. There we go. And then now I have no arrow making materials on me, but I can still make myself the arrows. We've got the wireless crafting, the like uh, ability to pull things out of storage from distance on us. So good. Just like those quality of life things, so good to have them. So I guess now is when this series proper starts. There's no going back now, and I can't go outside now. So we're just going to have to figure this out as best we can along the journey. Really means that I have to, like, ransack every last scrap of material from every building I go into. Like, even just, like, framing across to another building across the way will require a fair bit of wood. So I need to make sure I'm well on top of that before I actually need it. Got to be prepared, which is very unusual for me. Now that the storm has lifted, I can see a bit more of where I am. And I'm just in a giant old west city. There's a slightly bigger PY down there. Don't edge out too far because we're right on the cusp of getting set on fire. But, like, there's a bigger PY down there. That actually has, like, a chain of them down along there. So I think if I can make it to them during the day. That'd be a pretty good effort. I suppose like the other option is just to get there at night time, but I don't want to wait that long. You can just... Shit! Bloody sneeze guards! What are you, a bloody lettuce? That's not supposed to protect you. It's supposed to protect vegetables and bloody subway. <sighs> Didn't even see it. Didn't even bloody see it. All right, let's try again then on you. What about that? Good shot, me. It may be hot outside, but I'm getting hot inside. Oh, yes. I've got an early cooking pot as well. Lovely, bloody, lovely. Always happy to see one of those show up on my doorstep. You can go to there. Lock all that in place. In fact, you can just go like that. Lock in three. Uh, that's all tools. That's fine. Bandos. Still definitely need those. Probably don't need the torch, but I'll hold on to it for later. 
Gotta try and find, though. I need to get my tools set out and my weapons set out. Still got that tier 5 sledgey boy, though. I don't really want to use it if I don't have to. There's a lot of noises happening upstairs. I'm going to try and make my way down into the basement. Sneak, ah, uh, shit. I'm going to say sneaky, sneaky, crouching because I'm a little bit cooked on my cucumbers. Sit you down, a real quick, just murder your friend in the corner mid-battle. Gonna take every advantage you can, and there's very few of them forming. Anyone else down here? Doesn't look like it. All right, good as gravy. Well, the fact that everyone upstairs is still yelling at me makes me a little bit nervous. Oh, we got some shem. Don't need you. We can beat my way into this box in the corner as well. And a cheeky froth. All right, it's a bit early to celebrate, but I appreciate it all the same. Free frothies are good frothies. Got a pipe pistol, some iron arrows, and a uh, uh, archery book. I want some first aid banners as well. Thank you. Uh, you can just go down to there. I'd rather use the pipe pistol than the bloody pipe shotgun. But I've got like eight rounds for it though, so still not especially sitting pretty. Can I just... Hang on. While I'm all cooked like this, can you just hold on to all of that for me? You can stay with me. Anything else that's super important? I don't think so. Just so I can go and clear out all of the Muppets upstairs. Oh, there's so many Muppets up here, it's basically a Jim Henson show. Who's here? You? Open the door. Oh, a couple of A couple of You're all clogged up in the doorway like germs trying to get into Mr. Burns' body. Sit you down. Wait for my stamina to come back, please. <laughs> just, I hate it. Oh, shit. I hate waiting for it. Stamina. Stamina. There you go. Jeez, waiting for my stamina to increase is a very real problem for me. You'd think I'd be used to it. There's a bloody dingo out here somewhere, and I'm not especially sure where it is. I don't want to take my eyes off the prize because it would come over and nibble on me shin bones. And it's not that one over there. There's one much closer. Ah, oh, damn it, shit balls. Okay, can't get out from underneath the porch, even by a centimeter. Despite it being in shade, doesn't matter. Saw the sky, saw my skin melt off. Just turning all the wood I find into frames to hopefully build myself a bridge to a... Jeez, that sounds so bloody close. To another POI. I think this place is done, though. Nothing behind you. Uh, did I check all the things through here? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. Where is this dingo? I keep hearing it, but I'm not able to see it. You're not around this. Ooh, no, that's a piggly wing, so I'll stay away from you. Definitely want to fight one of those. And I'm too cucumber to make the run across. Craft you. Uh, let's scrap you into the brass. What are the things that I don't need? Mm, I kind of need everything though this early on, don't I? I don't need bones. I don't need you. <laughs> are you like... Hang on. Are you like underneath here or... Oh, shit, damn it. God, I hate it so much. Are you like underneath the balcony or something? Are you taking shelter from the sizzly sun as well? Can't really say I blame you. I'm really trying to figure out exactly what I do and don't need. Don't need gunpowder this early. Uh, murky water I might need. I just wish I knew where that bloody dingo was. I might even go inside and just stop setting out in the balcony and just like shaking myself around like a salt and pepper shaker, enticing everyone to come over and say good day. What else can I get rid of then? What else is here that I don't need? Don't need plant fibers. How are we looking? I'm still cucumber by a little bit. That can get turned into bandos. Hello? You, are you like glitched through the wall or something? What is going on here? Something's, ooh, sneaky dicky extra loot though. What have you got? I'll take you and use it to repair both of those. Thank you. Scrap the last one. Take the stones. Okay, I can get rid of the last of this stuff. Don't need that one either. And then we can finally get moving again. Oh, jeez. All right, I got rid of most of the stuff. I'm now not cucumbered anymore, so we're going to start planning my <laughs> my adventure over to the place next door. So, oh, jeez. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. Oh. Oh, I heard someone else coming for me as well. Quickly pop you right in the schnoot. Boop your schnoot and you were under the balcony. I bloody knew it soon. No, you stay away. I just want to go next door. I need to borrow some sugar or something. I can't figure out how to get that dingo out from underneath the veranda. So instead, I'm just going to go... How am I going to do this, actually? If I go like this, I build up to like there, and then build like a little path... Oh, that just has to be a little bit higher, doesn't it? A little bit higher so I can get underneath it to start with. All the way along like that. G'day, piggy. How you doing? Can I just like slip under there? Oh, ow! I can. No, no, shit, fuck. Oh god, oh god. Oh, I did it dumb. I did it dumb. I tickled the bloody pig. Down we go. Ah, uh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Quickly put some painkillers in to get any sort of health back. Slap on some first aid bandos. 
Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I tickled the hind quarters of a big ball of bacon. Now he's trying to turn me into a BLT. I didn't want to do it like this, but I got to go guns a blazing because he's right bloody there. Let's go on back out again and reload while I've got the hatch to protect me. Fortunately, pigs may be delicious, but not especially smart, despite the fact that three meats come from one magical animal. Where did you go? Oh, he's, he's trying to lull me. He's trying to lull me. Trying to lull me like only pigs can do. Ah! Uh, oh, wait. Missed it. Okay. Go back to the pistol. Shit. Please. I don't want to do it like this. I don't want it to come to this. This is not how I want it today to go. Everything is going wrong immediately. I found the pig back out the front. Headshot. Bonza, mate. Level up. I've got two skill points to spend. And in fact, I need to do that very quickly. You, I need another point into Sex Rex, please. My stamina is cooked. And I also need Pain Tolerance to stop myself getting stunned. That's like the absolute must of any playthrough of Seven Days. Got to have that going for you. Um, I can now maneuver around a little bit. Um, I've, Is there another dingo under the freaking veranda? There is two. Okay, that's all right. As long as I come over here, we'll be A-OK. -okay. Although I think you got something on your mind. Okay, you're done. How, am I, how do I... How do I build this in some sort of feasible way, though? Oh, this is this is going to be really annoying. Oh, yep. Like, something like that, I suppose. Man, this is going to take ages to get anywhere. I'm thinking probably the most important thing for me to spec into with this is going to be first aid to make myself just bulk. Just bulk first aid bandos as much as I possibly can. Because otherwise, I'm just going to die all the time. I need to get my health back up. Oh, shit. Every time I walk into the sun like that... That was the support that I needed just for that block then. Ow! Fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. This sucks. Oh, this extra sucks. Not now, Loza, please. All right, apparently I just live in this building forever now because getting across to the next building is so impossible. Give me the yucca plants, please. I'm going to need... Oh, no, actually not yucca. I need to get aloe. I need to start like the world's... Ah, oh, shit. The world's biggest aloe farm you've ever bloody seen. Every time I take a step outside of the little safety quadrant here, I lose like a quarter of my health. Easy. Zomp. Oh, what? Come on. I was fine. I was underneath the shade. What are you doing to me? We're so close. We're so close. I can almost taste salvation. Yeah, here we go. Like that. Then all the way along. Much easier. Much easier. All the way to there. And then. Oh, oh damn it. It's fine. At least we're alive. We've made it somehow. This sucks. I reckon as soon as the sun sets, I'm just going on one big aloe co collection run. Just going out there and grabbing every last bit of aloe I possibly can. Even if it's just aloe cream, that would... Ooh, thank you. That would be better than nothing. Because at the moment, I'm losing all of my health just from walking around. And don't really have much to show for it. Catch you later, Arles. You got anything good for me in your pockets there, big chief. Ooh, a cheeky coffee. I'm not especially thirsty right now, but I appreciate the gesture anyway. A hop seed recipe. Are you suggesting I should start brewing my own froffies? Don't have to ask me twice. I generously and graciously accept. Oh, and would you look at that. Some woodle purple dye in the old west town. Because, of course, if it's not in a cowboy hat or cowboy boots, of course it's in the cowboy village. Right next to Arlene. Just as things should be. Quickly just get rid of this trash on the ground to get myself into the room nice and quietly. Just like that. Oh, shit. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I've been in this building a long time ago. It's been a while. I've kind of forgotten how it's all laid out. But it turns out there's just some zombies hanging around in the bloody corners like they're camping in Call of Duty. Nope, no one in there. Oh, but I can't. I can't go out. Oh, shit. I can't go out there. Fuck. Okay. Uh, well, that's going to change how I go through POIs then. You only would. Okay, I'm just going to slide my way through the walls over here. Right. Yeah, this is, um, this is changing the game a lot. Knock, knock. Just, uh, checking out a room for the night. If it's that old school of a hotel, you know, you can come in, pay a dollar and stay for a week. Anything in you? Just some glue and I'll scrap you for the brass, actually. So, ugh, all of the good loot is up on the roof in this joint, isn't it? You're better than what I'm currently wearing, so I'll whip you on me uh, on me lies, on me thighs. My thighs don't lie. Call me freaking Shakira. You can get scrapped into regular uh, cloth fiber, because I will need that to make myself the first aid bandages. You, all of that into frames, because I need them to get around anywhere. 
Oh, jeez. Yep, no, we're learning, we're getting there. Slowly. I'm very nearly dead, but I'm trying to save these first aid bandos for emergencies, but I guess I'm that close to death, that's probably warranting an emergency. No use dying holding first aid stuff. Oh, that would be silly even for me. Okay, I get myself back up about as healthy as I can be. I'm a little bit peckish, so let's scoff down some sham. Uh, nothing else in there for me. I'll grab you and you, though. Campfire. I could have made it straight out of the storage, but that's okay. You can go into there. Scrap. I want to chuck down my campfire to somewhere. I don't have... Ooh, it's a good little spot for it. I don't have uh, the schematic to make bacon and eggs yet. That'll be a good way to get health back as well, so that'll be nice. I need some more eggs as well. I just... I want to get out there, and I want to get the final loot, but how can I get the loot on the roof if I can't go out into the balcony? Oh boy, if I'm going to be bunkering down in here, I want to build myself at least some way to protect myself. I've got a little candle over here for some light. I'll chuck you up there for some light in here too. Uh, I'm going to need a door though, uh, advanced rotation, and to stick you down on the edge like that. I could have gone like two hatches, I suppose, but it's probably smarter because then... In fact, you know what? No, that is smarter. That's way smarter. I get rid of you. Because if I have a door, there's two blocks where two zombies can tag team that door and really open it up. And I don't want that. I want to be as dinky die and as safe as possible. So I get two separate hatches. Same kind of concept, just like a little hard point choke point here. But double the HP, or at least like one part will fail and not the whole thing all at once. Gonna need some more wood, of which I have none because I used it all to make all my frames. Uh, right, okay, that's all right. I need to break down this bit anyway. I'll get rid of this, replace this slot, and, like, put some poles across the top as well. Just to make sure when I go out tonight, because now, like, I can only go out at night, so it's going to incentivize me to risk things. If I'm bringing home, like, a train of zombies, I need some defenses for that. This is only temporary, so nothing special. Just some poles and some wedges over there. That'll all be good. All right. There is the nighttime noise. I'm going to give it a couple of minutes because I'm not sure if it's like exactly at 2200, like when the sun sets or if there's still some like uh, ambient temperature out there that's still going to set me on fire. Give it a couple of seconds just to make doubly sure. Don't want to take any gambles this early on in the piece. Copper rotation, chuck it in like that. That's a good little blockade if I do need it. All right, well, I'm still full health. We'll chuck all this garbage away in your all go like that. Got a little bit of wood. We'll have to go get some more. Moment of truth. Look, the sun sets, so this should be okay. Hold your breath. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. That's a good sign. I think we're all right. Let's get the loot from the top. Shut up! Loot from the top of the building, and then go out and get ourselves a whole dick load of aloe, because I need every last goopy drop of it. Oh, who's here? Who's here? Anyone? That's someone's head, but hang on. Up. Uh, oh. oh, shit. This is dicey. I was wondering... Okay, this is some crawlers. I thought there might be some doggos, but seems like we're okay. And hit you. A little bit low and a little bit high. The primitive bow has got about as much gusto in it as an Aussie bloke without his Vegemite. There you go. And one more. Right about there. Perfect. Are we good? Are we safe? Are we clean? <laughs> this has been a lot of work to move like 100 meters down the road. Another archery book. Thank you. More importantly, a couple more first aid bandos. You love to bloody see it. Some padded gloves. Slap you on. Not that armor protects me at all. Like, that's just to stop zombies from beating me to death at least a little bit. But doesn't provide me any extra protection from the sun. Which, let's be honest, is the bigger issue here. Take you back. What's in the working stiss box? A repair kit. Okay. And some cements. No first aid boxes up here. I was kind of curious if I'd find it. So, I was going to see if I found it first before I brought it up, but I don't think I'm going to. Anything in you? Not really. Some frames. Thank you very much, though. So, there is an item that's been added into this that's very rare or very expensive. I don't think I can make it either. No. There is sunscreen. Because one thing you learn being down under, slip, stop, and slap, you got to put your sunscreen on if you're going outside. Even on the overcast day, you'll still get sunburned. So there is sunscreen in the, in the game. It's very rare, and I hope to find some at some point. Because you're five minutes without getting set on fire. So something like that, if I can start finding it somewhere, is going to be a godsend. There had to be some way to balance it out. So making it rare and highly valuable makes sense. I like it. Someone's real mad at me downstairs. I don't particularly care. I'm going to go out, drop down to there, and get myself all the aloe that I can. I'm not in a city. So even though zombies are going to be, like, worse or at night time, I might be okay. I'm still going to try and avoid any battles if I can, though. Just grab that. 
Tell you what, some living off the land right about now wouldn't go astray. Getting double the allo. Ah, you missed me. Haha, <laughs> unlucky. You sizzled your own eyes out way back when. Yeah, living off the land, getting double the amount of allo, definitely going to be important too. I've done a pretty good job grabbing all the allo that I can, but I've gone a little bit far from home. I'm going to start slowly creeping my way back again. Grab the stones and things on the way. Just a couple of Bernie boys. That's fine. Mind the cactuses. They're dangerous too. The whole world is bloody dangerous out here. Just get back. Just get back. Oh, some more aloe over there. How many do I have? 16. 16. It's four. Four per aloe cream. So that's enough for four aloe creams, which mean four first aid bandages when I get the next level up. Do I have a skill point to spend, actually? It's a bad place to be checking. No, I don't. But that'll be the next thing for sure. Someone's dying in Cole's books. Not sure who. There's a stump. Just, oh, I want the stump. I want the stump even for just the chance. Just the chance of getting myself uh, some honey. A lot of them ups out there. You, please. Oh, there. Just over his shoulder. Try again. Right about. Oh, wait. Hang on. There. Shit. Come on. Stop whiffing your pills. Better. He didn't die, but that's okay. I've done a fair amount of damage to him. Should this be a cheeky follow up with the club? Easy. I, th I thought you were going to run straight past me. I thought you were going to run straight past me. You lured me. You lulled me. But then you died. Well played. Going to grab that candle and take it with me upstairs. Can't just pick it up like an undead legacy, but can't just grab it off the wall and chuck it down somewhere else. All the way up to the top. Grab you for some extra wood as well. Home sweet home. Ish. <laughs> if you can call it that. I didn't really get any wood at all, which is a bit of a shame, but I was more concerned with just grabbing all the aloe that I could. You can just go there for me. Light up my life just like little bits. Close you. Grab that. Okay, can I do any repairs at all? Or upgrades is probably more important. You took four. I've got exactly eight. So that's... Oh, no, I had ten, actually. I lied. You're now upgraded. I need you to be ionized as well. Lovely. There we go. At least I have some sort of protection now. Look at that. Got all the extra icons for my map as well, which I love. I've kind of gone through and like taken all the features from other mods that I've loved and just added it to my vanilla. I always kind of play vanilla plus anyway, so all this extra quality of life stuff just makes it so much better. Uh, you can just be that one. Ooh. I didn't realize I could make it multicolored. Oh, we're going to go purple then, aren't we? A nice dark, rich purple. Not that light magenta rubbish. Although magenta and purple are completely separate colors, as we've talked about. Yep, you, that's all good. You can just be blank, that's fine. Purple home is my home, for now at least. Oh, jeez. Okay, but I'm pretty excited about getting across next door and then, like, be able to make my way through all of those buildings that are so close-knit. The really expansive stuff is hard, but getting into something a little bit more chock-a-block is going to be way, way easier. But I'm going to have to come back and do that. Once again, a massive thank you to Kane for making this mod possible. Uh, as always, I'll release the mod to the public uh, after day 14. Uh, the seed for this was just Inferno with two-thirds desert and one-third wasteland and no other biomes. That was it. That should get you the same world that I'm playing it right now. But I think that's all the information I need to tell. Once again, though, a massive thank you to all of you guys for joining me on another series. I'm always excited to start something fresh, and this one so far has been a challenge unlike anything else. But I'll have to come back and continue this new challenge in another episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button, down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.